When Frankenstein's monster came to life, the mad doctor yelled, it's alive. You might be screaming the same thing yourself at some of these insane substances. Whether manufactured by accident or created in a lab, these chemicals will change the world as we know it. Button up your lab coats and secure your safety goggles as the hub experiments with these strange materials you won't believe actually exist. When any of these chemical reactions cause a fire, pull the red fire alarm. And when this video is over, push the red subscribe button to explore more scientific discoveries with the hub. Graphene Aerogel once, a substance called aerographite was a world record holder, and it's so light that the air we breathe is six times heavier. Then, Chinese scientists created graphene aerogel, officially recognized as the lightest substance on Earth, and a full 12% lighter than aerographite. Just to give an idea of how gravity-defying this dehydrated gel is, a cubic inch can comfortably rest on top of a blade of grass, or the white puffy flower of a dandelion. With its porous and buoyant qualities, scientists aim to use it as a sponge, cleaning up oil spills, wringing it out into a tank to reclaim the oil, and then sending it back into a waterway to suck up more oil. Amazingly, graphene aerogel can capture 900 times its weight of oil and an incredible amount of other liquids as well. This breakthrough is also hoped to become an ingredient in future forms of insulation, as well as a leading component in stronger batteries. When produced a certain way, the aerogel can look like a smoky cube with enough insulation properties to support NASA's space-bound projects. NASA's synthesized brand of aerogel can withstand high pressure and is even held outside of vehicles in space. Use this kind of a net to capture passing space dust and comet particles. Artificial Spider Silk Created by scientists at Cambridge University, artificial spider silk can extend into thin web-like streams. Like spiders who use water as a solvent to spin their webs, the silk that these researchers created is 98% water and yet it's stronger than Kevlar and is impenetrable as steel. This super light substance is a perfect new ingredient for a variety of armored accessories, from military grade bulletproof vests to consumer bike helmets to parachutes. Scientists even believe it'll be an ideal component of future airplane wings. With an additional 2% made of cellulose and silica, the mixture is bound together by molecules called cucurbiturals. It may sound complicated, but artificial spider silk is entirely biodegradable and can be produced at room temperature. This makes it an incredibly environmentally friendly alternative to other textiles like nylon, whose production process leaves a heavy carbon footprint. To mass produce, the spider silk can compete with other military ventures like the US government's experiments in creating new bulletproof vests using genetically modified silkworms. The Cambridge researchers are building robots to spin these artificial webs at an industrial pace. But if they can't figure out how to get these spider silks made for mass consumption, they may want to reach out to Peter Parker, who seems to have the whole web thing figured out. Magnetic Thinking Putty when Silly Putty first came out, it was kind of a wonder toy. It could be sold in a variety of colors, capture the images on newspapers when pressed against the ink, and bounce to high heights off the floor. Magnetic Thinking Putty takes it to a whole new level, retaining those kid-friendly properties while also being able to bend and shift under the influence of an outside magnetic force. Like an alien goop, the Thinking Putty will move around a nearby magnet until, blob-like, it fully engulfs the metal. Tiny magnetic particles are distributed throughout the putty, and when its poles line up with the nearby metal's magnetism, the putty and the metal interact in an interesting way. And don't worry, you can make your own magnetic putty inside your own home. Wearing gloves and a face mask for safety, massage a spoonful of iron oxide powder into a glob of store-bought Silly Putty. The iron oxide, often used in black paints, can be purchased from a variety of art supply stores. The oxide will bend and move around many an outside magnetic force, and it's definitely more interesting to stare at than watching paint dry. Perfluorocarbons Scuba divers are limited by the fragility of their own bodies. Swimmers can only withstand the pressurized depths of up to 130 feet. Any deeper, and divers are expected to contract the bends after more than five minutes. And for you non-seafarers out there, the bends is when the undersea water pressure causes nitrogen to absorb into the bloodstream and leads to a brain aneurysm. To fight this and make deep sea diving possible, scientists are working with perfluorocarbons, otherwise known as breathable liquids. PFCs are clear, can be healthily consumed, and contain three times more O2 and four times more CO2 than the blood flowing through our bodies. And if pumping your lungs full of this oxygen-rich liquid still seems like drowning to you, remember that as we developed as fetuses, our lungs were then submerged in amniotic fluid, and nutrient-rich liquids have been used on babies with breathing deficiencies. And so 
soldiers was suffering from gas attacks from as far back as World War I. There's a precedent for this type of work, that in order to actually work for swimmers at the bottom of the ocean, scientists need to create complex ventilators that filter and move PFCs through the lungs between 5 to 10 liters per minute. Transparent Aluminum in the Star Wars universe, transparent steel is a see-through metal that's used for windows and portholes on heavy-duty spaceships. And in Star Trek IV, Scotty asked for transparent aluminum when trying to build a clear tank to protect some whales during an interstellar voyage. Who knew that technology meant for Star Trek's 23rd century would be available to us today? Called AION for short, aluminum oxynitrite is an aluminum-based ceramic that requires a labor-intensive process to transform it from white powder to the glass-like substance it becomes. Compressed through the process of isostatic pressing, the hardened powder is then cooked at 2,000 degrees Celsius, cooled and polished clear of any imperfections. Resistant of heavy-duty bullets, this metal can withstand a blast from a 50 caliber rifle, which can inflict damage on a target up to 5 miles away. With the ability to defend against that type of firepower, transparent aluminum would be perfect for visibility on vehicles in the battlefield, armor on soldiers, and windshields on one of James Bond's many cars. The only factor keeping this metal from appearing on the person of every soldier in harm's way is the fact that it tends to cost an average of $10 to $15 per inch. Ferrofluid Iron, oil, oleic acid, three ingredients that are surprisingly not too difficult to buy and mix together in your own home. Yet, the online price tag for the combined mixture of ferro fluid usually comes out to 165 bucks per liter. This liquid, full of iron oxide particles, can be manipulated by magnets into creating weird and beautiful spiky shapes. The magnetic force pull at the iron oxide while gravity tries to bring the fluid down to ground level, and it's the oil surface tension pulls each common in on itself. This struggle between forces creates the sharp, spiky tips. While ferro fluid looks like a slippery bubble of black oil at first glance, this substance works as a binding agent for the spinning parts on motors, and it cools overheated wires on sound systems. If the metallic particles were simply suspended in oil, a magnet would work to separate the metal. But soapy surfactant particles keep the oil and metal tied together. According to popular science, your own cheap ferro fluid could be made using a bag of magnetic ink developer, which could be purchased online for about 20 bucks. Combine that with a common variety of veggie oil, a dash of kerosene, and citric acid, and you can be off to the races in a ferrofluid lubricated engine in no time. Carbon Nanotubes 50,000 times smaller than a strain of human hair, carbon nanotubes are highly conductive microscopic cylinders 100 times stronger than steel. Their superconductive properties allow them to transfer heat and electricity at a rate exponentially faster than copper. These properties make them perfect for transporting information through high-tech computer chips and heating building in a low-tech insulation. With their tiny and unobtrusive size, researchers believe carbon nanotubes are perfect for distributing drugs throughout the human body. Used like tiny straws, nanotubes can send treatments to act on specific cells or to attack ailments affecting single body parts. Created by accident as part of an arc welding experiment in the early 1990s, carbon nanotubes have been hailed as a game changer since their discovery nearly 30 years ago. In the time since, what was once thought impossible, like the ability to connect nanotubes together, has now become possible. Scientists figure out how to thread together a human-sized blanket of the stuff. Now, physicists hope to use nanotubes to power a new generation of spacecraft, provide alternative green energy to the global population, and probably sew together an unrippable pair of pants. Diamond Nanothreads but if you thought carbon nanotubes were unbelievable, then you probably haven't heard of diamond nanothreads. In October of 2015, a team of researchers at Penn State created the material which serves a similar function as carbon nanotubes, but is seemingly even more indestructible. Thinner than its nanotubular sibling, scientists believe these nanothreads will have a wide range of uses from textiles to automobiles. Not only would its uses contribute to renewable forms of energy, like carbon nanotubes, but carbon itself is the most commonly found element on Earth, so its cost would be extremely affordable. Beyond these earthbound prospects, scientists at NASA believe diamond nanothreads could be the material they need to build a space elevator, allowing for goods, supplies, and equipment to easily be transported into orbit. All that time and money spent on launching a shuttle out of the atmosphere would be saved, and it could be that much easier to get cosmic explorations literally off the ground. Early insight into these threads believed they were too fragile to sustain much threat, 
but additional research over the past two years has proven they can be used for lifting technology. So if you know an astronomer named Lucy, we could someday see her taking elevator in the sky with diamonds. Super chilled sodium potassium. It seems counterintuitive, but scientists created the coldest material known to man by shooting a bunch of lasers at it. The focused beams of light slowed down the gas molecules in and around a sample of sodium potassium until the compound was chilled to its lowest possible temperature. Sodium and potassium are two positively charged elements that don't normally go together, but scientists use evaporation and yet more lasers to cool down their individual atoms finally manipulating their magnetic fields to get them to stick to one another. Once attached, the two lasers were pointed at it, one with a frequency matching the compound's current state of vibration, and the other at a frequency matching the lowest possible vibration it could emit. Although the sample only lasted for 2.5 seconds once it reached its final temperature, that short amount of time provided enough fuel for years of research. Incredibly, the sodium potassium reached negative 273.15 degrees Celsius, just slightly above above absolute zero. In case you were wondering, that's about a million times colder than space. Surprisingly, even at such a frigid temperature, the sodium potassium molecule still displayed polar qualities and remained stable. Antimatter in Star Trek Space Age Engines, antimatter interacts with matter to propel ships faster than the speed of light. While it seems like a product of science fiction, antimatter exists in our universe and it isn't much different, physically, from the matter we see around us. In fact, to the naked eye, a block of antimatter might look like any old brick of earthly matter. However, antimatter is made out of atoms with an entirely opposite charge and spin. And although it fills most of the known universe, it's such a commodity on our planet that its projected asking price, according to some figures, is 62.5 trillion per gram. Yet, the prospect of antimatter continues to confound scientists, despite all the proof that it exists. For instance, theoretically, the Big Bang should have destroyed all matter and antimatter at once, causing the universe as we know it to never be born. Yet, the bang did happen, and both matter and antimatter have thrived throughout the universe. It's even naturally occurring in many of the living organisms on Earth. Potassium-40 emits a single positron as it decays, and that positron, the antimatter version of an electron, lasts for just a moment. But that split-second existence means that even a simple banana can provide something as curious and fascinating as antimatter. These have been the 10 strange materials you won't believe actually exist. Now that you've witnessed the impossible, go to your own labs and start mixing. You might just create the next revolutionary discovery. Whether you develop the world's next tech craze or wonder chemical, come back and share in all the modern wizardry you can find on the hub. But be careful.